Hi everyone, um, today's latest video is going to be on a new gadget that I've had for my telescope. So a few people have heard that in about just over a month's time I'm going to be 30, so it's quite a big birthday and I've been lucky enough to have an early birthday present which is the Sesto Senso Autofocuser made by Prima Lucci Lab. So, first impressions when I got the box, I was like, this is, it looks really, really good. I like the packaging and on the back it shows you that it can be used with a variety of different telescopes. So, today I'm going to unbox it and we'll talk about a few things and my first impressions of it. And then, all being well, I'll get it fitted to my telescope and when I've used it a little while I'll do a proper review video so that I can give my proper thoughts on the uh, Sesto Senso after having a chance to use it. Okay so to the actual unboxing. If we open the box we have the Sesto Senso unit um, it's sort of made out of metal this feels plastic but it's the only part that does it's nice and weighty. It's got port for a temperature input, uh, for a temperature probe, sorry, a USB port and a power port. And there's sort of the motor shaft and the screws where you need to screw onto your focuser. If we put that to the side. We also get a USB stick which has, if we just focus on that, which has the company logo on. It's a sort of micro one, it's not one with, it's sort of half a USB stick, but it does work, I have checked. And it's got all the software that you need on there, and a PDF of the instructions in English and Italian. There's a box of bushings, now all of these are different and they fit different telescopes so it's just a question of finding the one that fits. There's also little grub screws and a couple of allen keys to tighten everything up as well. And cables. You also get a, U, um, a USB cable to connect it to your computer and a power cable with a cigarette lighter end. And that's it. So, a couple of notes, well, just one mainly that I wanted to bring up so far is that when I first opened the, bo the box and had a look at the bag full of bushings and grub screws, I found that some of the grub screws, bizarrely, had worked themselves upside down into um, the bushings and it made it very very frustrating at first to unscrew it and free them up so that I could actually you know get at them so my only recommendation there is that maybe Prima Lucci can put those little grub screws in a separate bag I know that we're trying to save the planet and use less plastic but uh, let's save astronomers frustrations please so yes, uh, grub screws in a separate bag please. Another thing to mention is before you buy the Sesto Senso, you need to measure the colour on your telescope focuser. So what you need to do is remove the fine focus knob, remove the coarse focus knob that's also on that same side and measure the colour. The Sesto Senso will only fit um, as standard on 25mm collars. If you need, if your telescope, like mine, has a larger collar, you need to measure it. So my telescope actually has a 33mm collar. So I actually had to order um, a separate adapter. So this is the separate adapter and it just fits in Sort of like so 
and then that fits on your telescope. But obviously you need a longer bushing then to reach the crankshaft and onto the, the focuser. So it also comes with a longer bushing as well. And this is the one that I'll be using. They also do 37mm um, adapters as well. So basically if your 25mm collar is you know on your telescope, you're good to go without anything else. If not, measure and see if there's an adapter that will fit. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll try and get this fitted ASAP and start using it so that I can actually get a few images and then we can compare my previous images with manual focus using a Batonov mask and focus achieved using this. I may decide to switch software to SGP Pro but I haven't decided yet. So yeah, watch this space literally and clear skies everyone and see you soon.